all right everybody what up welcome back to the channel it's your girl Jeannie and you already know what it is so let's just get into the energy I appreciate everybody who comes to my channel and shows me love in any type of way whether you're giving me a like a comment subscribe whether you're sharing my comment content booking readings with me donating to my channel or simply just getting a giving me a view I appreciate you all right and I'm sending that love right back to you Okay, let's get into the energy. I promise, y'all. I promise this won't be a long reading. I'm going to do two short ones instead of one long ass reading. All right, and I'm going to try to stick to one point. <laughs> I'm going to try to stick to one point, but y'all already know I got a page full of notes. Okay, you already know I got a page full of notes, and um, I'll bring in those notes if they come up. Um, this is the first video, and I already have a page full of notes. You know the second one. Anyways, let's focus on the first one. Let's focus on the first energy here. Uh, the song that I got was Runaway by Georgina, which is significant because I kept hearing like um, cities and states like Georgia and Brooklyn and LA and stuff like that and um, Detroit, things like that. And then it really correlated with the lyrics in the song, which talks about like the community you're in. All right, so let's just get into it. Let's just get into it. Um, yeah, what's the energy for Virgo? We got Mandela effect <clears throat> for um, the first energy that popped out. The Mandela effect really talks about something uh, you knew in the past, okay? Being different from what you're seeing presently, okay? Or vice versa. Um, and with that Mandela effect, it really ties into my notes, which um has a big don't forget energy here so there could be something where you're getting um downloads and dreams okay where you're getting signs where things are being led towards you yeah we got butterfly effects so um now i'm gonna mention my notes because we're getting butterfly and wings and flying and the takeoff and fly energy so there definitely could be something in your um, community, in your home, in your city, in your state, something that you can connect to that will allow you to take off and fly, all right? Um, the first thing that stood out to me in this song was, I can be anything if it's in integrity with what I dream and I know it can't be wrong. So I feel like there's something in your community that could be in integrity with what you dream and there's something about not forgetting your dreams all right that's the first thing here <clears throat> what's the overall energy for virgo today please overall energy for virgo today i think that's upside down oh it's not okay neutral energy here all right so i feel like things are pretty neutral for you um with this amusement park, you could have somebody who uh, rolls into your energy, okay? Rolls into town, okay? Y'all have fun, y'all may go to amusement parks. This is giving me the energy of like visiting places like this, Brooklyn, Georgia, amusement parks, going around, rolling into town, okay? Rolling into something, um, visiting for a short time, not a long time. Uh, I'm seeing a whole lot of traveling, amusement park, good neutral energy for you today, okay? And I feel like that's to get you to focus on something that could be there that you can um, integrate into your lifestyle that you can take off and fly with, all right? I'll, that's the last time I'll say that. <clears throat> Let's get it. What's this rattling energy for, whoa. What's this rattling energy for Virgo today? Why is an amusement park here? Ooh, we got courtship. Mm. Why is amusement park energy here? We have child. Mm. Why is a uh, Ratland amusement park here? Uh, for a Virgo. Okay, then we got two that came out. We have thief in community. Oh, okay. Mature man. <laughs> what did I tell you about something in your community or a community? All right. Here we go with the notes. 
So in my notes, when I was get, listening to this song, I started thinking about the dreams that I have when I visit my ancestors. And they usually tap me in on something. And I feel like there's something your ancestors are trying to call you to do in the community or in some type of town that they could have came from or something like that. Because then I got the word, uh, shit, I don't know how to say the word, hold on. zeitgeist okay and it means the spirit or the mood of a particular history as known as shown by ideas and belief of that time okay the defining spirit or mood of a particular period of history so i feel like there's like a particular period of history okay with ideas belief and the mood of it the style of it there's something here about like um going back to your ancestors and picking up and not forgetting the mood, the particular mood or period of that history in that town, of that place, okay? A story that captures the zeitgeist of the late 1960s. There's something here about late 1960s. Um, but yeah, what is an example? Okay, so the mood of somebody in the 1980s would be for them to be preoccupied with wealth and consumption. So there's some type of mood, pre, pre I just heard prehistorical, what the fuck? Um, there's some type of mood or period of history that is in a town or a community that you need to not forget about. There's something here where you can use it to take off and fly. I feel like we're born and put in places and we don't know why, but there could be clues and things in our community or we're led to places. You feel me? Something about a mood, period, history, energy here. But I'm going to focus because... I will just get all over the place if you let me. Courtship. There's somebody. This is giving me the energy of um, you going out on some type of date here. This could be like a play date, courtship and child. Y'all going to an amusement park, meeting up. You, your family, everybody's bringing the children here. Uh, and then we have thief and community. Okay. Where thieves and community, neutral ground. So neutral ground energy, amusement park energy is where anybody can show up and be in neutral ground. Even the thieves, the robbers, even the, the, ooh, okay. Even the thugs, I'll just leave it at that. Thieves, robbers, and thugs can show up at this amusement park and we can all be a community and have a neutral ground. All right. This is giving me also as well, there could be people in your family that have stole from you, fucked you over, and y'all could have to come together for neutral ground with these people. Okay. And you may want to run away, but here's the song. Uh, sometimes you want to run away, but instead take off and fly. And then there's a child here in the picture here. So I feel like this is all going to resonate for you. Let's just get into the reading here. <clears throat> it's not about a stuffed animal. Why is this courtship here for Virgo? Why is courtship for the sign of Virgo? We have the sun card here. I feel like you're getting a lot of exposure at this time with the sun card energy. There could be a Leo around you as well. But for relationships, this is the energy of you creating some type of sanctuary. I just heard sanctuary. All right, this could be like uh, you and somebody coming together and creating a sanctuary. Yeah, look, there's two people here being guarded. And then there's two people here being guarded. Okay, and that guard is going to allow these people to come together and do what they need to do. All right, so that's the nine of swords. Mm. Uh, you may have to like guard and cover some type of relationship. You could be paranoid. All right. What's this energy here with courtship in the sun? We have the high priestess and we have judgment here. We have the lovers, the high priestess. Wow. And we have judgment. Okay. The king of discs. There could be some type of exposure here on some type of secret lover that somebody was trying to hide from you. You could know about some type of secret lover somebody has in a different city, in a different community, in a different state. Something about Brooklyn, Georgia, Florida, L.A. Um, I know those aren't cities, 
Uh, <laughs> but with this energy here, there's some type of some card uh, that, oh, so you can know intuitively about people and what they're doing. I feel like the sun card is some type of exposure being placed upon lovers, people here that is tapping you in with a high priestess and giving you uh, judgment calls on who to deal with and who not to deal with here. The king of cups to the two of swords. Yeah, even if people love you with the two of swords, you intuitively know that they may be blockages to your peace, to the middle ground that you're supposed to be taking in order to transform your life, okay? Until your wish is fulfillment your dreams okay and then the world card in the reverse yeah you won't complete that we have justice here and then we come into my notes where i was talking about sleep dreams and other worlds okay and i feel like you're dreaming of something you have a dream you have a purpose your ancestors your guys have been trying to show you what to do tap you into what to do in your community and in life what's the important things they've been trying to get you not to forget this um, and if you get with somebody who will distract you from that past you, path, you're automatically going to be tapped in at some type of judgment, okay, about these people. And with the world card in the reverse, you're not going to be able to complete things with these people. It will not go to completion. It will be um, nullified, I just heard. And that's some type of justice is in order to keep something in fairness and just in order here. Okay, yeah, people are going to be coming to you, lovers here are going to be coming to you, and they're going to uh, show up as the sun, you know, show their, put their best foot forward, try to trick you, you know what I mean, try to make you feel like uh, I'm the one here, but with the high priestess of the judgment, trust your intuition with these lovers here, because there's going to be somebody with the sun that is going to be exposed to you, who is this person that's going to be exposed to Virgo, we got the ten of wands, Who's this person that's going to be exposed to Virgo? I just heard break your back for this. Break your back for this. What's that? The Eight of Cups. Ten of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Okay, there's going to be somebody here who's going to be exposed to you, okay? There's going to be a burden. They're going to be exposed to you because they're going to add, like, burdens to your life. It's going to um, be tiresome. You're going to automatically want to put them down because it's going to be too much going on with them and your responsibilities here. You're going to immediately abandon this person who um, you're going to be seeing. Uh, you're going to be, oh, okay. The queen of discs. You may have love for this person. Okay, there may be emotions here, but all of a sudden you're going to be overwhelmed with dealing with them. And it's your, the universe way of tapping your intuition and telling you to walk away from this person, place, or thing here. All right, what's the uh, other energy? We have justice, yeah. So there is going to be someone with a sun card that is going to be exposed as justice rare. I mean, oh, rare? Okay, this is a rare breed. Somebody's rare. Um, but somebody's going to be exposed as um, justice, real, um, fair. Uh, with this relationship, anything, you will find a way. This person will automatically find a way to spend time with you. It will make your life better. Your work-life balance will be better. There's going to be somebody. Yeah, this is how you know the lovers that you should abandon and the lovers that you should uh, keep around, the people who you should keep around here. Is the ones who cause you stress, abandon us the ones that do give you what you put into them that add to your life that makes your life run smoothly this is the one you give your cup to okay so stay very logical at this time i feel like there's going to be a whole lot of people here trying to come towards you we have the devil here why is the devil here we have the five of cups yep yeah. the devil the five of cups and the ace of cups energy here like i said there's going to be a whole lot of people with the devil card justice to the devil is giving me some type of energy where there's gonna be someone here who really is like going to show you justice because with the devil and the five of cups you may have gone through things that you regret a lot um, 
based off the new people and new love that you bring into your life four of cups and i feel like you don't want to do that anymore and with this justice energy here there's going to be somebody who just fits in perfectly with you and it's going to ease this uh depression is going to ease this uh energy that you don't want to be near anybody yeah you don't want to be in a relationship you don't want to do that somebody's going to be okay with that this energy is going to fit in with your life your lifestyle perfectly with the justice card is going to be illuminated to you beautiful energy here okay put one on the courtship we have the seven of cups like i said there's going to be a whole lot of people coming to you some of them are illusions all right some of them are good people page of swords look out for this energy here we have a child uh we have a child here popping up um it's giving some type of inner child energy because um i have uh and it's giving hometown energy as well where you were born the state that you were born in some town you were born in because we have that same child energy here somebody has some type of beautiful babies your children are beautiful okay they're just gorgeous if you don't have children this is this inner child energy here one four four here and we have the death card transformation so it is giving me some type of inner child energy here and oh that was the energy that was the energy going back to my notes with this inner child energy i was getting like the drawing blocks the 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 um uh, children blocks the living early learning blocks energy and then it was like showing me how we start off with instruments and how there's like primal instruments um instruments that come from time periods ago that came from your ancestors like drums things like that and how we used to start off with uh criminal things and how you need to start off with like drawing okay and turning your drawing your 2d drawing first you got to imagine it it has to align with your dreams here we go okay so this is the this is the time where my notes come into the reading because um of the song so it talks about um, sometimes you just want to run away, but instead take off and fly. So you may want to run away from something in your community, but Spirit wants you to integrate something before you run away. So it allows you to take off and fly instead of just running away from something. Um, I feel like that's a metaphor. Take it as it resonates. Um, but then it talks about sleep and dreams and don't forget your sleep and dreams here. And once you... Uh, find out what they're trying to show you in your sleep and sleeps and dreams and messages and intuition here they want you to start drawing it out first in 2d first i got like line art okay you know how we like started off as like stick figures and then we went into the 2d to the 3d and then we went into like models the 3d like actual model thing and then we go into 4d like actually living in it um so i feel like there's some type of progression you may need to start off premium start off with the inner child drawing crafting uh creating models you know you know how like people uh ceos business people they have like huge models of buildings and what they plan to do with this building and every single thing is integrated it's it's already thought out it's a blueprint it's mapped out and it's way easier to manifest your dreams in that way look the full it's way easier to manifest your dreams in that in that way when you start from the beginning start from the baby energy start from the ground line art uh, 2d you could be led to drawing sketching drumming piano um a time period energy uh tools of the time period why is child energy here for virgo uh something about a nine-year-old uh eight-year-old seven-year-old here we have the chariot five six seven Ooh, i was right <laughs> okay <laughs> seven here the chariot energy yeah okay this is some type of uh take off and fly letting your childhood energy fly here what is the chariot okay we have the wheel of fortune we have the nine of cups and then we have the tower card wow so you just you just take off and fly baby all right i'm not gonna sing i don't know why i sing <laughs> uh with the chariot the wheel of fortune to the nine of cups to the tower card virgo seven of cups energy all right i'm getting that there's some type of momentum here that's pushing you forward with the wheel of fortune into your dreams 
And then we got the 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 nine of cups, your dreams bursting into reality. And this is the energy that I was talking about, dreaming of something, um, uh, moving forward on those dreams, putting that passion and energy into something. And then the universe backing you up with the wheel of fortune because uh, there was some type of blessed plan or something that you were supposed to do in this community and when you connect to things that you're supposed to do often they just run smoothly and that's the energy you going right running smoothly right into some type of dream and then we have the tower which is a breakthrough seeing it into reality and this is giving me that line art energy that i just expressed okay going from line art 2d 3d 4d bursting into reality so i feel like there's something here with this child energy that is small it is small right now but spirit wants you to put all your energy and strength into it and allow it to uh really go with some type of momentum here i'm also getting oh my gosh i just lost it hold on oh uh put your energy into things that matter you know what i mean like we as virgos okay have just like step back into our bullshit we've just stepped back into our throne type of energy we have a prefola okay of new energy new ideas new things going on uh 111 energy and i feel like spirit wants you to pour into something here you could have a child that has some type of passion you need to help that child bring this passion into reality or this is you some type this is the ancestors and you're their child and there's some type of blessed plans in some type of community where they're from time period history something here that if you connect to it's going to like turn into a dream turn into your favorite type of energy here seven of cups seven of cups there could be multiple things in your community pathways that you could be wanting to run away from and spirit says don't run away just take off and fly using this life as a runway so there's some type of thing in your community that you can use as a runway to take off and fly here and we have the wheel of fortune nine of cups of the tower and it's literally giving me the imagery of taking off and fly and bursting through something and bursting into reality here with the tower energy bursting through some type of uh i just heard glass ceiling as well okay so there could be limitations in your community or people in your community trying to limit you since child energy there's some type of thing that you had since a child a passion a drive for that people have been trying to limit in your community trying to get you to run away from it but instead just take off and fly so this is the main energy here for the reading today all of this else energy is just really explaining it the spirit really wants you to focus in through visions dreams communications sparkling lights um symbolism what you peep with your eyes what your ancestors are trying to show you um, about a blessed plan in your community or some type of time period mood energy that is going to take off and fly um and i feel like with this you can still be anything there it is even if you have to follow footsteps be in a community be in a place or whatever this has to be for you i feel like you can still be anything if it is in with integrity with this dream okay i know i won't be wrong that's the energy here and that's the lyrics as well all right so there's that uh, why is the child energy here? We have the Ace of Cups and the World card, I'm telling you. We have the Justice here as well. Um, so with the Ace of Cups, it talks about happy times. It also talks about love. All right. Mm -mm -mm. That also talks about like pregnancy, G. <laughs> so if you don't want no more kids, and that's crazy uh, that's crazy because the last message that i got from my ancestors they were like here put your arms out and i was like what <laughs> i was like what and i was like put your arms out and i was like okay and i closed my eyes and i put my arms out and i opened my eyes and they put a baby in my hand g and i was like what what's that <laughs> I was like, oh, 
What's that? And then I realized there was a baby and I just dropped a baby like that. Um, and then it, like, it really took me out of the meditation that I was in because I was all fucked up. Tower card. I was like, what the fuck? The Ace of Cups and the World card energy. Justice. Ooh. And then it's giving me that person. You may have, you may, um, you may have some type of destined baby that you're supposed to have with somebody with a justice energy because we saw that the sun card is going to expose who the justice energy is. Whatever this baby is, whatever this uh, thing you do with this person or this is just an idea, new beginning here, whatever this is, it's going to lead to some huge, like, I just heard metamorphosis, but that's not even the word that I was trying to explain. Uh, it's going to lead to some type of like change in time period. Oh, this is the guides thing. It's going to lead to some type of mood and shift change here. We have a mood or particular period of history. There is a baby that is going to be or you are going to be. You're the ancestor's baby. Take it as it resonates. Justice could be the ancestor's baby. They could be somebody named Justice. Anyways, there's a baby, whether it's yours or you, who is going to change a particular mood or period of history, okay, through your ideas of belief of that time. It's like you're going to change the whole community and bring about some type of neutral energy, okay, where thieves and, and thugs and, and whatever could all come together to a place, all right, which neutral ground. Now I'm getting Doc Mount, Mountain Luther King. I have a dream energy that all the little boys and girls, you feel me? It's something like that um, where you're either going to create this child or you're that child that they created. Take it as a resonance here with the Ace of Cups and the World card. And I feel like if you're that child, you're the... Um, zeitgeist. If you're the zeitgeist of this fucking... Um, time period Virgo with this ace of cups in the world card there is somebody that you're going to be um with here it's all it's going to be all about you I said it's all about you girl on your 16th birthday something about when a baby turns 16 you you could have turned 16 and um that's when something activated or that's when when something will activate I'm flipping between uh wood and will so I feel like it's more of that line art 2D, 3D energy where it's like you have to create it. You have to create this reality. But anyways, there's something here about um, you and somebody else. It's going to be all about you, but there is Ace of Cups here. Somebody you're going to be connected to. Okay, you can just see this person watching you. And it's like the ancestors from the other realm trying to bring you something, give you something uh, here as well. And this is that dream energy, the other worlds, y'all, okay? So we have the Ace of Cups in the world card. And then I got directed back on my notes because I remember writing this. It says, sleeps, dreams of another world. And that's in the lyrics of the song. I'll put the song below so you can listen to it. But that's the energy. You're going to have dreams of another world here, a world that you will travel to that will pour into you a lot of creative energy, okay and you're gonna come back oh shit there it is you're gonna be the zeitgeist oh say it so there's something here where you're gonna be tapping into another world where your ancestors are where you can visit that time period where they can give you knowledge that they don't want you to forget from a time period or a particular mood of an idea or something that you were um doing and you're going to integrate it into this reality this time period your period and your community and you're going to it's like metamorphosis it's like you're going to break out of something here just fly away Okay, and there's something here about justice. Stay, stay fair. Okay, stay fair. An ending of a period of uncertainty. Yeah, you're not gonna be uncertain about something. This is beautiful energy. Oh man, I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have two and six. We have two and four, which is six, the lover's energy, justice, heavy Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and this energy today. We're also getting some Scorpio um, energy here. Uh, why is Thief here? The Knight of Cups, a lover. Yeah, lover energy. 
uh, something about the time period as well because you notice how they're dressing um, courtship top hats type of energy something old bringing something old to the new energy yeah bringing something old to the new here I also feel like there's some type of um, somebody who was reborn somebody old from a different time period that was reborn in this time period you may yeah the ancestors ace of swords you may be led to somebody that you're supposed to have a child with so somebody from a time period could be reborn into them ace of swords oh uh, i'm gonna leave that alone oh no y'all y'all be y'all be literally watching me in real time get messages and downloads from my ancestors and my guides and i have no idea what they're talking about you like i don't know how okay but i'm feeling like there's something like you're from this community i'm from this community and because we mixed our communities somebody from the past period can come back through a world or a portal and they've been waiting and walking. like weird shit there's a whole lot of spirit baby energy and i don't want no more kids so <laughs> i'm gonna hop right off that energy i don't know y'all gonna be having them <laughs> it ain't me <laughs> oh no mm -mm. But yeah, this could just be you. Um, that's the energy though. Why is Thief here? Something about lemon pepper steppers. Okay, big shoes to fill. Okay, there's something about old shoes, an old pair of shoes, ancestral shoes. Uh, something about eBay buying old shoes, stepping in an old shoes. Something about the, the energy in somebody's old shoes that will bring back that time period, that time energy. You could have something of your ancestors, an heirloom. Uh, something that was passed down through generations uh, that somebody tried to steal. I feel like you're going to find out where it is. Or who stole it. It could be a watch. I'm also getting like a walking stick. Um, or something like you that you like a pen that you pin into your clothes mm. thief we got the king of cups at the bottom <laughs> okay uh why is thief here for virgo okay we got the queen of cups in the reverse so we had the queen king of cups and then we have the queen of cups in the reverse here she was coming out conflicting um so what's the queen of cups energy here the three of swords here and the empress okay somebody could have lost a baby somebody could lose a baby because of a theft that they did okay i don't want to say this somebody could be trying to steal your kid as well amusement park neutral energy mm. okay I feel like spirit is asking someone here to remain neutral this is a loss of a kid here the three of swords to the empress and then the baby crying or somebody's in pain about a pregnancy they're definitely heavy on the pregnancy energy. And then we have the five of swords. Okay, so. There could be somebody who is trying to get pregnant to steal something from someone and it's not working. Or to hurt you, but it's not working. What the fuck is this shit? The Queen of Cups reverse talks about like a bad mother. The Three of Swords talks about like heartbreak, pain, energy, separation, loss. And then we have the Empress. Overall loss here. Who's the Empress? The Eight of Wands. The Empress is moving forward, Two of Swords. Who's the Empress? 
to Six of Cups. Communication from the past. Or this is communication about some type of memory here or community. Why is the Queen of Cups and the Three of Swords here? The King of Discs, the King of Discs to the Queen of Discs, the Death card. Transformation. You're just flapping. I feel like there could be some type of energy where with the Queen of Cups reverse, there could be some type of mother here who has some type of issue speaking hateful words. They could just be really emotional because of some type of loss. So there's a woman here who lost her partner that she may have stolen in the first place. This could be a queen of wands. So this person is attacking you. They're heartbroken because whatever they stole from you, they lost and you kept moving forward. Or there is a queen of well, there's a queen of cups talking shit about you. Okay? Because of some type of communication from the past. So you could have communicated with somebody in the past. <laughs> and it could have fucked up a relationship somewhere else. Somebody could feel like you're a thief, you're stealing something from them. What's that? What's the Queen of Cups to the Three of Swords? The Magician. What's the Queen of Cups to the Three of Swords? The Six of Coins and the Four of Cups. Uh, the Queen of Cups is heartbroken because she had everything she needed to be to manifest some type of gift or opportunity for herself and she missed it. Okay, four of wands, a relationship, home, or a baby. Inspiration, six of swords. It would have inspired somebody to carry on and have a new beginning instead of be single because if somebody had a family with them it would be harder okay there is somebody here in your community there is a woman out here who is very emotional over some type of loss because she had everything she needed to steal something from you or some or someone around you and this woman could have been pregnant in the past they could have gotten some type of communication of pregnancy in the past. Uh, I don't think she was ever pregnant. I just feel like she wanted to, or somebody, what's the Empress to the Eight of Wands to the Six of Cups? The King of Wands, Valet Blades, okay. The Two of Pentacles, what's that? The Ace of Wands and the Strength card. The Ten of Swords. Okay, uh, so there could have been a lover you were dealing with in the past that you were communicating with or dealing with in the past who was with somebody who was attacking you and trying to cause an 
ending and control this person and cause an ending with you. So there's a woman here who stole your man and she mad that the relationship was, this is giving me, it ended how you got them energy, whether it's man or woman. There's somebody here that stole something from you, built, tried to have the whole opportunity to build something off of it and they couldn't. Okay, this person was definitely cheating or in cahoots with somebody from your past. And this woman thought like they won, they succeeded, they manifested everything, and they still missed the opportunity of entrapping this man. Why did this woman want to trap this man here? The King of Cups. Okay, the man could be you or somebody you were dealing with. Okay, I feel like there's a woman here who's trying to get your ex for whatever reason. Damn, 40 minutes? Look at that shit there. Uh, the three of coins. Yeah, somebody you may have worked with. The star card. The hierophant. Okay, this woman wanted to, yeah, because she worked with you. This woman wanted to entrap this man because he worked with you. The star, the higher thing. Somebody who's uh, spiritually tapped into something, uh, a spiritual path in this lifetime that they are committed to and is going to in, integrate into this reality. They know that you're someone like this, a zeitgeist energy. Because you had some type of ex, they thought that they stole from you, okay? Uh, they thought like they could get some fame and notoriety off of being with an ex here, um, but they missed their chance and their opportunity. So this woman only wanted this man because he was with you, or this man only wanted this woman because she was with you. Take it as it resonates. Uh, thief. Yep, the four of swords in the reverse. She stole something she couldn't hold on to. This could be an item, a person, place, or thing. I don't know. Uh, somebody was tried to steal something they could not hold on to. And that's period because it wasn't theirs. All right. Spirit guides, ancestors wants you to know that. If somebody stole something from you, they lost it. Okay? And it could be still in your community. You could go pick it up. What? Yeah, they may lead you to it. Don't run away from your community. They may lead you to something that was stolen from you. It could still be in the same place. Uh, which community energy uh, for... We're going to hurry up. This community energy for Virgo. We have the lovers in the reverse here. Okay. Which is rejection. Uh, why is the lovers in the reverse for the community? Uh, I feel like somebody was for the community. Uh, I'm hearing for the community. Something about a, a politician. The Wheel of Fortune. The Tower. The High Priestess. There's a lover out here in this in the community that feels like they rejected the wheel of fortune and now they're going through a tower here with the high priestess energy four of wands and the death card yeah somebody could uh could be hiding that some type of relationship has ended for them ace of coins and it's an opportunity knight of coins all right, there's some type of relationship that is ending, that is changing things into your favor. Tower card energy here. Uh, this could be in your community. This is why they don't want you to run away, okay? Just take off and fly. With the lovers in the reverse, it talks about heavy rejection. It talks about not wanting to be somewhere, not wanting to do something, choosing the easier option. The easier option could be to run away. Um, but with the Wheel of Fortune energy, I feel like there's something fortunate in your community. I feel like there's something fortunate where you are that with the Tower card uh, could lead to a breakthrough or a breakdown. You can either run away from the, the thing in your community that is going to help you take off and fly or you can use it. Okay, you can connect to it. You can control it with the High Priestess. You can allow your intuition to drive you there, lead you there. Okay, to the Four of Wands, the Death Card. Yeah, this is transforming your community 
Four of Wands energy is a change of scenery, okay? From holidays to new homes. Yeah. So you could, uh, High Priest is a change of community. There could be some type of intuition. Your, your mind could be bugging you about um, traveling and changing. Yes, you may want to run away from your community, but Spirit's telling you to go visit other places. Go do things. Get away from it to... Uh, relieve this energy of wanting to just completely run away from your community you have to set it up in a way where it will be successful and that success uh, involves a transformation here ace of pentacles a transformation that will lead to the opportunity if you are the knight of coins dedicated to it and emotionally stable so don't run away from your community don't just run away from all your problems here spirit is going to intuitively tap you in a way to succeed in your community succeed in some type of energy succeed in something here so you're going to actually use your community use the things you around you to wheel a fortune to help you take off and fly tower card have that breakthrough instead of abandoning it and running away um from it, okay? Because with the high priestess and the four of wands, there is something here that your ancestors and guys are leading you to in your community. It talks, and when we got the energy of like um, a childhood home, childhood energy, Brooklyn, Georgia, places, um, significant things that could have taken place in time periods, history, where your ancestors could have grown up. There's something here that you know you're being tapped into and spirit doesn't want you to run away from it, transform, take off and fly. I feel like I've explained that enough here, but the wheel, the lovers, the wheel of fortune in the tower energy um, talks about uh, choosing the easier option uh, and the easier option then trying to transform your community is to just tower card, blow it up. Um, but what's the harder option? The Knight of Cups. The Sun card and the Four Coins. The harder option, you feel me? The harder option is staying where there is a good opportunity. Okay, a genuine offer here. The harder option is staying dedicated and seeing the good opportunity, the genuine good opportunity. There's something here in your community that is a good uh, proposal, a good opportunity, something, a good genuine offer here. And it's going to be illuminated to you if you stay somewhere for coins, if you hold on to something, if you stay secure. It talks about security here. It also talks about your heart telling you, following your heart towards the sun energy to gain security okay to gain control so it's easier to abandon your community okay then try to change it but with the wheel of fortune in the tower card there could be something that could uh change your reality in the place that you are sun card of the four coins in the place where you're secure Okay, so you could be told to go somewhere secure, like a childhood home, home city, something here um, where you find security and where your dreams and your heart are leading you to four coins. That's where you find your security and your stability here. Okay, and through this community, through this opportunity, you can be anything you want to if it's in integrity with what you dream. Okay, so this is the energy that I have for you today. I tried to keep it quick. Um, we still somehow <laughs> uh, made it to a whole hour. Okay, and I appreciate every single one of you who has um, stayed to the end of my readings. Listen, yeah, judgment. We have the Page of Pentacles, which is an opportunity where it may be small, but that is good news here. Okay, there is some type of opportunity, judgment that um, Spirit is trying to get you to see. Okay, there's an opportunity, Spirit is trying to get you to give a community a second chance. This is the energy, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles, that's where the Ace of Pentacles is. So this is the energy of uh, um, 
your parents and your family all live in some type of state and that makes what you want to do harder because there's so many people that you know blah 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 right but there you were born there they were all there for some type of reason or opportunity with this judgment energy that you need to see and see for a different reason or see something in a different perspective here reviewing the past deciding if it's whether deciding if it's worth reconsidering or staying in a situation okay judging yourself here past actions so this is something here about something you may have missed in your community as well something you could have rejected in your community as well and you're going back like oh that actually was a good job opportunity for me to start off making a small sum of money so then when i do get out of this town i can take off and fly instead of running away ace of pentacles this is the energy that i got for you today if you resonated with anything here please give me a like comment down below subscribe to the channel see what's coming up next and everybody else and y'all you know i'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching if you made it to the end put an airplane in there all right peace